Okay, so we're gonna use Uchimata from a wizard, and this time our entry is gonna be a T step. So I'm gonna create a T with my feet and rotate and lift my leg. So I wanna make sure that when I enter, my center of balance is right underneath, my feet are underneath my hips, and my hips are right underneath my head. I don't wanna be leaning in too far to him or away from him too much. I wanna have my center of balance perfect, okay? So I could kinda of start this one a little bit cheating. I don't have to be facing Max here. I could be rotated, just angled a little bit. So I kind of have done the first step without him knowing it. I have this angle of my wizard, I have the tricep, I'm threaded under and through, okay? So from here, I'm gonna slide my first step in, which is my far leg, my back leg, is gonna rotate and kind of like create a hip rotation, okay? So from that position, I'm gonna corkscrew my left foot. If I'm a lefty, it's my left foot, righty, right foot. So as I do that movement, I'm rotating my toe. So it's really good to like practice, you know, like this kind of motion where your hips can rotate dynamically. And that's one of the solo drills I have in that section where you could practice that and kind of like unlock that. So it's not gonna be such a, a hard movement to grasp when you learn the technique. You're gonna already have the framework. So I have my wizard and a tricep. I'm already kind of cheating because I'm perpendicular. Pivot and rotate into my entry. So it's almost like a hip throw. I'm lifting my foot. At the same time, I'm, lifting, I'm bringing my head down. So it's like a, acting like a seesaw in my body. My head and my toe are operating together in unity rather than working against each other. I wanna have my head and toe operate in that fashion where one goes down, the other goes up. My toe is turned inward, so my hip is rotating. So I have my wizard, I have my tricep. I'm pivoting and I'm creating kind of a T with my feet. It's a really quick entry. So that back step entry in the last volume we just practiced, that one is good to learn the foundational structure of an Uchimata or a lot of hip throws, that back step. But in live goes or in tournaments, you have to use the concepts from that back step, which takes a long time, just like one, two. By then, your opponent's already kind of shifted sometimes. So we're adjusting the entry with the same foundational concepts as that back step. Our hips, our feet, our knees, our head are all in alignment. So, so I'm kind of cutting out some steps. I have my wizard, which I'm hiking up when I do set my feet. I have a tricep, so I'm rotating and pivoting as I lift, kind of shrugging. Ha. Toe is turned in, head goes down, foot goes up. So that kind of shrug and kazushi is really important for most throws. It doesn't just have to be from a static position. A lot of these throws work very good moving, and that's something we're gonna get into. But first, just get the retention of the technique itself before you add variables, movement, reactions, combinations, all those things are gonna come. So let's get these techniques down. One more time. Tricep, wizard, hand is on my chest. Right here, I'm gonna rotate and pivot my feet as I slide. Breathe out when you throw, control. Still grabbing that tricep, a common mistake when doing this throw is to kind of let go of them and post and kind of, you're nervous you're gonna hit your own head on the mat so you post and let go of him. Now that technique, that throw you've done, is gonna end up in a scramble because you've lost all control. You wanna hold on to that tricep at least. Okay, so one more time. I'm in here. I'm gonna pivot my feet and rotate and slide in all simultaneously. Breathing out, still holding that tricep. Okay, so give it a try.